Hey, what is up guys? Aritya Saikumar from Arcray Studios back again for another exciting tutorial. No, I'm still not Andrew Kramer and I'm still gonna steal his tutorial style. Welcome to the thousand new subscribers. I honestly did not expect that rain freeze tutorial to be so popular. It was really unexpected. I'm really glad that a lot of you liked it and I'll be sure to try and create more tutorials nowadays. I'm tr not really trying to make my channel a tutorial channel, but if there is an effect that I feel doesn't exist already on YouTube, then I'd be happy to try and make a tutorial for it just to, you know, do, be something different. Today, I'll show you guys how to import or composite a 3D character into After Effects using Element 3D. And this is actually a shot from a short film, Pokemon Gone, which I released over the summer. And it was the first time I had a 3D animated character in my scene, which was a Pikachu. So let me show you the shot that we'll be working with. Yep, pretty small, pretty simple looking, but had to learn a lot of different techniques in order to be able to pull this off. The Pikachu model was found online on a website called Row Studios. These guys apparently got into the Pokemon mobile games and made zip files of all the models pretty much. So you can pretty much select anything. So here's Pikachu and it's a pretty decent model. I had to clean it up a little bit. And if you want to see that how I animated it, it was in Maya 2016. Being a student, you can use it for free, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, check that out. It doesn't have a rig, so you have to make the rig yourself. And then I animated it using the graph editor. If I just select the root right there, you can see, well, actually it's like the, the head. So you can like see like how the movement works. Like he's tilting his head and all that kind of stuff. I'm not the guy to teach animating. I know the very basics of it. And I guarantee you can find really good tutorials online. So definitely check that out. But that's not the focus of today's tutorial. It's all about Element. So for this tutorial, you're going to need After Effects and Element 3D version 2.2. And yeah, let us get started. So I'll create a new composition. Oh, uh, sure. And then import footage and create a new layer solid for element. Actually, I'll trim the composition to fit this too. Alrighty. So let's do. By the way, I'm using uh, Video Copilot's FX console thing. It's really useful, lets you dial up your effects that you need really fast. So definitely check that out. Go to their website and download it. It'll change the way you use After Effects. Well, not really, but it's helpful. So next, the key thing here is that the animation that you create in Maya, you need to export it as an OBJ sequence. I'll put in a link to in the description for a script that does that for you because Maya does not export OBJ sequences natively. It exports OBJ objects, but not sequences. So I'll put a link in the description for a script where you can find that. So first things first, you have to go to File, Import, 3D Sequence. And I just got to find where I put this. Right, so when you finally import your sequence, it'll look like this. And then, um, actually it doesn't have the textures on, I made sure that I loaded those on too. And you can see in the baked animation, you've, you have a start frame, and you can like just scroll through and see the animation, which is pretty nifty. So if I hit OK, it seems to not really show up on our, oh, because it's below. There we go. So it looks like that, which is not where it's supposed to be. So what we'll do is 3D track our layer. Go ahead and analyze. All right, now our shot is tracked. I think I want to put Pikachu right about here. A right click, set the ground plane in origin, and then Create the Annul and Camera. Automatically Pikachu jumps because we have to now establish where he is in 3D space. So what we'll do, select Element, 
group one, create group null, and hit create. So now our Pikachu has a null object attached to it. So what we'll do is hit P for group one null and P for track one null and just copy over the position. So now it's in the right place it needs to be. Now it's just a matter of taking the group one null and messing around with its parameters to make sure Pikachu is looking in the right direction. I'll hit R for rotation. Change the Y rotation so he's looking in this direction. Hit S for scale. Make him a bit bigger. And now he's like looking confused in a particular direction. Like, oh, what's going on? Perfect. Now it's um, obviously the color isn't right. So we'll go into element scene setup. And I also have the environment map from the um, rain freeze tutorial because it's in the, it's the same, same place. But what I'll do is I'll change it by lowering the saturation because the saturation in the shot is also really low. This is all about matching color, which we'll do later. Um, but we'll also create a plane. The plane will be below Pikachu. This is basically oh, so we can cast a shadow. Because this will be a matte object later. So I'll go ahead and turn on um, mirror surface just so I can make sure that he's standing on it properly. That's about right. Turn off mirror surface. I'll go ahead and apply the matte shadow effect. Actually, I won't turn, I won't put it on there just just yet. Go out onto the scene and make sure that that works properly. And I will create a new light. I'll do a parallel light just because they're pretty harsh shadows this day. And uh, make shadow sure darkness 100 for now. Okay. Cool. Now, I recall the light was pointing about this way. Or like on top. Hmm. That's about right. I am gonna lower the darkness a little bit. Shoot. Go into light settings, lower to like maybe 70. Yeah, that looks better. And then go in back into element and change it into the match shadow object. So now we have that. Eh, our shadow might be still too dark. So I will lower that to about 50. Yeah, that looks better. That'll work. So now we have our Pikachu. It's lit. And we have our camera movement like that. So far, so good. Now it's a matter of color grading him to match the scene because, or color correcting, because when we do our final grade at the end, it has to overall match. So what we'll do, I have a, a effect called color matcher, which is pretty nice. Oops, wrong thing. Because I can apply it to the target layer below and just jack it up and like, not all the way, but like most of the way. So it looks, uh, that automatically does a lot to help. But for the sake of this tutorial, we will try to do the same thing, but with inbuilt plugins. So I'll do first a hue and saturation and desaturate. It's a bit better than, um, you might have seen this if you watch Andrew Kramer stuff by clicking the little RGB icon here, going to the reds, and I guess we'll use curves. Ah, what did I say? We're using FX console. Still not used to it, but it's helpful. Curves. It didn't show up. 
There we go. We'll go into red channel. Jimmy it around. Go into green. And then blue. Blue looks like it needs a bit more. Let's see. No? That's interesting. Honestly, that could work. It's a bit different than what I expected it to be, but I guess that's fine. I'll mess it around with a little bit more. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Now you got a 3D character in your scene. Put it at full resolution. And let's see our handiwork. What you'll also notice is that in my original composition, I had him look like he was saying something like Pika. I'd, I'd say I think it's clever. But essentially what I did is if I go into here, I had my original element layer and I duplicated uh, like a couple times. And each one, I changed the UV mapping of his mouth, which is a thing that you can do. You go into scene setup and you select... That's where's his mouth the layer for his mouth right here and if you go into the diffuse you can change which mouth expression he has by by changing like the offset value like that it's really strange but it works and essentially i made a couple copies of the pikachu and i changed the sprite for each one which is how i made him talk but yeah that is pretty much it so that's another tutorial guys i'll might be making more later this is a crazy semester for me so i probably won't be able to upload as much but uh thank you for all your support and uh, be sure to like and subscribe peace out